Hi, Leo. Some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. What would you like Leo to know or to be aware of? Leo, I do want to welcome you to my channel. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. I do use my intuition, and I also encourage you to practice using your intuition as well. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Many times when we are referring to tarot readings, we are really just wanting to vet what we already know to vet what our thoughts and feelings are. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. What would you like Leo to know or to be aware of during or for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Leo. Three more cards for the Leo. There we go. Two more cards for the Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Leo. Another card got going on here wow we got some really good cards here for you and 10 oh, you know that looks like an ominous 10 but to me that 10 almost a happy ending thank you spirit leo the foundation the basis of your reading this week is the 10 of swords endings endings that are backed by leaving what is no longer serving us behind us and if we can look we're leaving something behind that is no longer serving us and i this is causing a good ending i know when we look at that 10 of swords we think of uh, unhappiness but it's the ending of the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is the um, agony, the pain, the suffering. That is coming to an end, and it's coming to an end, and we're moving on to, th we're moving into the great unknown. Oh my gosh, on a grand adventure. <laughs> Don't let the world get you down. You've got this, Leo. Let's, let's see how that plays into the rest of your cards this week. Don't let the world get you down. All right, and we start with the Temperance card. And the Temperance card is really transforming, transforming one thing into another, the Great Transformation card. And isn't that interesting that you get the Temperance card um, the week of the full moon, which is a time of transformation. We're starting, you are starting a time of transformation, followed by the Five of Swords, conflict. Conflict, um, confusion, chaos the feeling that there's a winner and the loser somebody always needs to be right followed by the page of swords the new young inexperienced um, looking back over our shoulder wondering questioning and then we have the nine of swords and the nine of swords is the stress, the agony, the sleepless nights. Um, and we can look and we can see how unhappy this person is. And while this unhappiness may be because of words and actions, it's having its emotional toll, which that emotional toll is shown just by the 
actions of the person in this card. You are turning a bad situation into a good situation. That's why we have this temperance card. That's why we have that eight of cups. There is a chaotic and stressful situation that you're pulling yourself out of. Um, and you're pulling yourself out and you're turning this into a winning situation. You, this situation, this unpleasant situation, this unhappy situation, this stressful situation is causing you to reevaluate. And it's causing you to take a new direction. And because of this situation, you are creating or setting new big intentions for yourself. And you can see it taking shape. You can see that your new attention, uh, that uh, the new intentions that you're setting for yourself, although they may be big and they may be grand, you can see that they're going to work out. And you can see that this is a whole new transformation. And you can see it taking shape. And you're, you can see that finally, everything in your public life, everything in your professional life is going to start falling in together, falling together. And it's a result of this ending. And I'm almost surprised that the tower card didn't come out for you here in your public life. And the tower is just that big change, that big shift. What spirit, what source wants you to know at this time, Leo, is that everything is falling into place and you are winning. And this here was part of the process of that transformation, of getting you in to the mindset of setting big, atten big intentions and letting things fall into place. Then we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is really about our intuition and maybe not trusting our intuition quite like we should. The Eight of Pentacles in the zone, focusing in at the, on the task at hand, healing, time for healing, You've put in the work. You've put in the work. You've put in the effort. And now it is time to step back and heal. And the lover's card. Relationships, coupleships, friendships. If you were looking for love, this card is indicating that love is coming in or if you are in a relationship, it's building and working on loving relationships. You are mastering your emotions. There are two people in your private life. And these two people, these people seem to only want to bring you down. What source is wanting you to remember here, Leo, is you have the ability to determine if this will bring you down or whether this is going to lift you up. There's no reason for you to let other people bring your world down. I have no idea why these two people seem 
convinced that um, they need to sing, singly handed bring you down. Are they, these people seem convinced that they're out to destroy you. And I think that quite possibly, um, I don't know if one of these people is in your per personal life and the other in your professional life, but there are two people in your life that are trying to destroy everything that you have worked on, everything that you have worked towards. And Source is letting you know that you have the ability to determine whether you are going to let this bring you down or whether you're going to turn this energy to lift yourself up which is again why we have that temperance card and why I keep going back to that eight of cups. It's about leaving behind what is no longer serving you. It is almost like um, this person or these people are uh, trying to use your words and your emotions against you but you can stop that followed by the death card don't be scared when you see this card leo this card just indicates a lack of passion a lack of desire and it's followed by the knight of swords the knight of swords i like to call this only fools rush in, or fools rush in. Here we see a knight rushing in, uh, sword drawn, ready to take action. He doesn't have a plan. He doesn't have any clear ideas. He really doesn't have any set intentions. He's, he's just going to let whatever happens, happens. Followed by the moon card. Hidden. Something is hidden. Something is hidden that is going to be revealed that is going to set you on the path towards your future. Leo, stick to... Stick to your guns. You've paid your dues. And you are ready to move on. Remember, we never start over from nothing. We always start from the knowledge base. We always start from the lessons that we've learned. And that is the message that I have for Leo. Have a blessed week.